Hello everybody, it's the Alco Diesel Guy, and before I begin this video, I must give my heartfelt thanks to all those of you who have subscribed and liked and commented on my videos. You have helped me tremendously. As of the time I'm making this video, I have roughly around 400, video, 400 subscribers, starting to slowly but surely get toward 500. Sorry I haven't been able to make more videos and sort of celebrate these milestones. <laughs> it's just been nuts at work. I should mention again, I work at the ski industry at a hotel that is also by the, by a ski slope, and things have been kind of crazy this season for obvious reasons. I don't think I need to tell you why. Whatever the case, the situation is slowly but surely winding down as the season comes to an end. The vaccines are being distributed hopefully next year, as I have told all of my friends and people I know. This will just be a bad memory, and we'll all just have, sit around and have a good laugh about it. Now that said, obviously let's live in the present and talk about what's currently going on, and actually this mistake happened kind of in the past, let me explain. As I mentioned with these Rapido RS11s that we're looking at, as we're looking at one of these right now, I had gotten interested in these models very specifically because, among, amongst other things, they were going to have the steam generator equipment. The idea behind that is really quite simple. This means you can run passenger service with them, and I really like the RS11. In fact, I've really started to become passionate about these engines more than ever before because of the fact that they can run both passenger service as well as freight service, something I didn't know until more recent times. So as, as you know, in the Rapido RS11 video I made with my reviews, I was I bought these mainly because I wanted to get that. Of course, I like the other gimmicks that were headed, including the under light up from below that uh, illuminates the ground underneath the engine, the cab light inside the cab and everything else. But again, the main reason why I went for them was that steam generator equipment. So at one point, apparently, <laughs> as best I can tell, a couple of years before I had my current job, I this, this is just when they were announced, I was up late at night and apparently found myself onto a website which announced these things were coming out, and I stumbled upon the Norfolk and Western engines that were supposed to have the steam generator equipment in them. So I said, oh, that'll be great. I went ahead and did a pre-order for pretty much all the models available. Unfortunately, two of them would be sound, just DCC equipped, but uh, pardon, me, pardon me, one would be DCC equipped and the rest would all be just DCC ready because I foolishly assume that these would be a very simple install and I sometimes like to put my own decoders on my engines. I just, I just like to customize things. I was thinking put a TCS decoder in them. Oh boy, was I wrong about that fact. As we all know, they are a pain to kick, they are a pain to get a decoder into. Let me actually start opening this up so I can show you the other flaw, which is in addition to that, that these things were such a pain to disassemble and work with. There is the fact that, as I unbox this thing, these units were supposed to have, as I mentioned before, steam generators, and as we'll see in this locomotive, despite it being a Norfolk and Western unit, and despite all the promotional art from Rapido showing that they would be as such steam generator equipped, this locomotive has absolutely no trace of the steam generator equipment on it whatsoever. As you can see on the top there. The only hint is this little thing on the top here. It's like an air intake for a steam generator, but nothing else. I'm not sure if this is actually legit that they were supposed to have been sold like this by Alco. If Norfolk and Western somehow backed out of this at the last second, or if Rapido made the mistake and just forgot to put them in, or what, whatever the case, well, very clearly... As we can see, this engine does not have the steam generator equipment on it anywhere. There's no trace of it on the bottom where all the piping would be. Nothing. So essentially this makes it kind of useless. And as I mentioned before, because it doesn't have a DCC decoder installed, well, that makes it even less than useless because to get that decoder, I'd have to have a decoder on it to run it on my layout. Getting one installed, though, as I've shown in those, in those videos... <laughs> is not an easy task to put it mildly. It usually results in the paint getting scraped off or some of the very, very fragile details falling off, which seem to happen anyway. So in short, this is pretty much a useless engine for myself. So one would think, oh, just sell them online on eBay. Well, I tried that already. I sold, uh, let me give you one more shot just to rub this in more. Again, no steam generator equipment on the top here. I try, and again, again, I tried <laughs> to uh, do that, to sell one of these online and through eBay and wound up having to take a loss on it. I'd gotten a good deal on these. These were supposed to retail for around 200 and some odd dollars with just DCC ready. I was able to get one at a hobby shop online for around 140 something dollars. I still managed to take a loss selling that on eBay. That's really all you need to know at this point. And if you look on E, and if you look on, and just and the sick part is that's actually a pretty good deal because there was another gentleman that apparently tried to sell his models on eBay in more recent times that had DCC and sound equipped on them and he really he had to wind up relisting them for around 140 bucks like I did and they just barely sold for that amount of money 
Uh, so I don't know if it's because these motors suck on these engines, which they kind of do according to what I've been told. I don't know if it's the detailing, I don't know if it's the railability, the ability for these engines, or the tracking I should say, the ability for them to stay on the tracks. But for whatever reason, these things just do not sell. So the end result now, I've got a pretty much useless locomotive I don't know what to do with. I could donate it to someone, but to be honest, I wouldn't want to do that because it probably wouldn't, it would probably make people, the person getting it have been the miserable side if they ever wanted to upgrade it to DCC. I'm sure someone could probably find a use for it, but the idea of me giving something up that I spent this much money getting a hold of is something I can't bring myself to do. And again, selling it isn't an option because I'm not going to get my cash for it, so I'm kind of stuck in the middle here. What I've decided to do is just simply basically store this until the prices come to something resembling reasonable and maybe then try to liquidate it or perhaps keep it as spare parts cringe to keep other engines going. But just goes to show you is because some things don't always turn out the way they're supposed to be. And surprise Rapido though has not actually released any information as to why this happened. I have not heard any kind of explanation from the company as to why these engines didn't have the steam generator stacks on them or anything else in that nature. All I know is I received the engine, it doesn't have the, the steam generator stacks on it, the steam generator equipment, pardon me, it doesn't have any of the detailing, and it's not what I really ordered, and it was too late by the time I got this. This is partly my fault because it took me forever to open this because of how crazy things were last year when the whole pandemic thing started. But anyway, I'm now, st but anyway, in short, I'm stuck with an engine I don't want and I can't do anything with it as of yet. So, if Rapido was looking to win back me back with this particular model, I didn't succeed in doing it. I do have some other reviews I'm going to do. I have the model M M420 models that they made. I'm going to give those a shot next. Hopefully, that'll be better. As always, I understand there's some tweaks to those that had to happen already because of the decoders they were switching out of. I'll get more into that in that review. Look for that coming up in a, sometime in the distant future as I have a long way to go. But still, I'm kind of stunned that this happened. I just can't believe that... Rapido would go through all the trouble of marketing this engine to have steam generator equipment on it and then not put it in. I just, I just can't get past that. So anyway, pardon the rant on this, but I just had to get this off my chest because I'm just so utterly frustrated with it. If you, as always, uh, thank you very much again for subscribing. I'm sorry again I wasn't able to get special videos out for the milestones I have hit because they were major ones. Major ones. As always, please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. And don't and uh, don't please comment too if you have any comments about my videos, anything you're interested in. Just post something in the comments. As I'm all I'm all ears or all eyes in that case because I'm reading all those, of course. And as always, folks, keep the metal side down.